Hello children, this is Grandma Carla, and today we're going to read Amelia Bedelia. And Amelia Bedelia books are so wonderful, and they are written by Peggy Parrish with pictures by Fritz Seibel. So we're going to enjoy an Amelia Bedelia book. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, your first day of work and I can't be here, but I made a list for you. You do just what the list says, said Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers got into the car with Mr. Rogers and they drove away. There's Mrs. Rogers in the car with Mr. Rogers and here is Amelia Bedelia waving goodbye to them. See what's on Amelia Badia's list. My, what nice folks. I'm going to like working here, said Amelia Bedelia. There she is walking into the house. And she sees a nice picture. And there is the list. Amelia Bedelia went inside. Such a grand house. They must be nice, rich folks. But I must get to work. Here I stand just looking, and me with a whole list of things to do. Amelia Bedelia stood there a moment longer. I think I'll make a surprise for them. I'll make lemon meringue pie. I do make good pies. So here's Amelia Bedelia looking at the grand house. And, ooh, no picture on that page. She's just looking and thinking about making a pie. Hmm. Is a pie on Amelia Bedelia's list? Hmm. So Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. She put a little of this and a pinch of that into a bowl. She mixed and she rolled. Here's a picture of Amelia Bedelia making a pie. Rolling out the crust. Soon her pie was ready to go into the oven. There, said Amelia Bedelia, that's done. Here's a picture of all of her workspace and her putting the pie into the oven. It does look good, doesn't it? Now, let's see what this list says. Amelia Bedelia read, Change the towels in the green bathroom. Amelia Bedelia found the green bathroom. Those towels are very nice. Why change them, she thought. She's looking at the list. And she's looking at the towels. I think she's a little confused. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered what Mrs. Rogers had said. She must do what the list told her to do. Well, all right, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia got some scissors. She snipped a little there, here and a little there, and she changed those towels. I don't think that that is what her boss had in mind. She's changing the towels, all right. Uh-oh. There, said Amelia Bedelia. She looked at her list again. Dust the furniture. Did you ever hear tell of such a silly thing? At my house, we undust the furniture. But to each his own way. Amelia Bedelia took one last look at the bathroom. She saw a big box with the words dusting powder on it. Oh, dear. I don't want to even think about what is coming. Well, look at that. A special powder to dust with, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia dusted the furniture. Well, that should be dusty enough. My, how nice it smells. There she is, dusting all of the furniture with the dusting powder. And I don't know if you can see all the little flakes of dust everywhere. 
What a mess. Draw the drapes when the sun comes in. Amelia Bedelia read. She looked up. The sun was coming in. Amelia Bedelia looked at the list again. Draw the drapes? That's what it says. I'm not much of a hand at drawing, but I'll try. There she is, reading the list. Draw the drapes. So Amelia Badia sat right down and she drew those drapes. She's not doing a bad job, is she? But is that what Mrs. Rogers wanted her to do? I don't think so. What do they usually mean when they say draw the drapes? I think they meant to close them, don't you think? Amelia Badia marked off about the drapes. Now what? Put the lights out when you finish in the living room. Amelia Badia thought about this a minute. She switched off the lights and then she carefully unscrewed each bulb. She's reading her list again and crossing off. And then she unscrews each bulb. And Amelia Badia put the lights out. So those things need to be aired out too, just like pillows and babies. Oh, I do have a lot to learn. And here she is putting the lights out on the clothesline. My pie, exclaimed Amelia Badilla. She hurried to the kitchen. Just right, she said. She took the pie out of the oven and put it on a table to cool. And then she looked at the list. She ran and got her pie. Fortunately, it was just right. Measure two cups of rice. That's next, said Amelia Badia. Amelia Badia found two cups. She filled them with rice. And Amelia Badia measured that rice. There she is, filling the rice. And then she's measuring it with a ruler measuring tape. Silly Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia laughed. These folks do want me to do funny things. And then she poured the rice back into the container. After she measured it. The meat market will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the ice box, and please dress the chicken. When the meat arrived, Amelia Badea opened the bag. She looked at the steak for a long time. Yes, she said, that will do nicely. There's the steak and the chicken. And Amelia Badea is looking at the steak. Amelia Badea got some lace and bits of ribbon, and Amelia Badea trimmed that fat before she put the steak in the ice box. Oh no. She's putting trim, ribbon trim on the steak. Now I must dress the chicken. I wonder if she wants a he chicken or a she chicken, said Amelia Badea. Amelia Badea went right to work. Soon, the chicken was finished. There she's looking at the chicken, wondering whether it's going to be a boy chicken or a girl. And I guess she winds up making some little pants for the chicken. Amelia Badilla heard the door open. The folks are back, she said. She rushed out to meet them. 
There they come in the house. And there's Amelia Badea. Glad to see them. Amelia Badea, why are all the light bulbs outside? said Mr. Rogers. The list just said to put the lights out, said Amelia Badea. It didn't say to bring them back in. Oh, I do hope that they didn't get aired too long. He doesn't know what to make of that, does he? Amelia Badilla, the sun will fade the furniture. I asked you to draw the drapes, said Mrs. Rogers. I did, I did. See, said Amelia Badilla, and she held up her picture. She doesn't look very happy, does she? Then Mrs. Rich Rogers saw the furniture. The furniture, she cried. Did I dust it well enough? asked Amelia Badea. That's such nice dusting powder. Oh, no. I don't think that Mrs. Rogers is happy. Mr. Rogers went to wash his hands. I say, he called, these are very unusual towels. Mrs. Rogers dashed into the bathroom. Oh, my best towel, she said. Didn't I change them enough? asked Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia is still smiling. I don't think she understands that the Rogers are not very happy with her right now. Mrs. Rogers went into the kitchen. I'll cook the dinner. Where's the rice I asked you to measure? I put it back in the container, but I remember. I measured four and a half inches, said Amelia Bedelia. Was the meat delivered, asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I trimmed the fat just like you said. It does look nice. Mrs. Rogers rushed to the ice box. She opened it. Lace? Ribbons? Oh, dear, she said. There's the steak, all laced and ribboned. Mrs. Rogers meant to cut the fat off, didn't she? The chicken. You dress the chicken, asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, I found the nicest box to put him in, said Amelia Bedelia. Box, exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried over to the box. She lifted the lid. There lay the chicken, and he was just as dressed as he could be. There he is in his nice green suspenders and shorts. Oh, my. Oh, my. Mrs. Rogers was angry. She was very angry. She opened her mouth. Mrs. Rog Ma Rogers meant to tell Amelia Bedelia that she was fired. But before she could get the words out, Mrs. Rogers put, Mr. Rogers put something into her mouth. It was so good that Mrs. Rogers forgot about being angry. What got put into Mrs. Rogers' mouth? It'll look like Amelia Bedelia's pie. Lemon meringue pie, she exclaimed. I made it to surprise you, said Amelia Bedelia happily. So right then and there, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers decided that Amelia Bedelia must stay. And so she did. Mrs. Rogers learned to say, undust the furniture and unlight the lights, close the drapes, and things like that. And Mr. Rogers didn't care if Amelia Badia trimmed all of his steaks in lace because she made such a good lemon meringue pie. All he cared about was having her there to make lemon meringue pie. And here she is bringing another one out of the oven. They found out she sure could make good pie. And this is Grandma Carla. 
and I hope you liked Amelia Badia. And I love you.